Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and welcome back to another Division video and another episode of Best of Builds. I said to you guys that I try and bring you a new build each week and that is exactly what I'm doing. Today, we're taking a look at the Marksman build. So if you guys do enjoy this video and you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated and comment down below and let me know what you think. Now to begin with, before we actually take a look at the build itself, it's important to note that this is best used in a team. The reason being is that you're going to forego any healing skills in favour of skills that will boost your overall damage. And as you'll see in a moment, your attribute distribution also makes you a little bit squishy, or a glass cannon, to use a more commonly known analogy. So first of all, let's kick things off by talking about attributes. It goes without saying that as a marksman, your most important attribute is firearms. Firearms boost weapon damage, and as a marksman, that is going to be extremely important to you. Also, don't pay too much attention to the overall DPS values you're seeing here. Most of my gear is typically stamina and electronics focused because I usually run tank, so for illustration purposes I threw on whatever firearm stuff I had. While the DPS figure can be misleading, with some appropriate gear you'll ideally be pushing somewhere in the regions of 160 to 200k DPS on your primary weapon. But, for illustration purposes, that's not really important right now. However, while it might seem like a good idea to simply ignore everything else and go 100% firearms, I would actually suggest sacrificing a portion of your firearms and in turn base DPS values in favour of electronics. See, you're not just going to be relying on your raw firearms attribute and base DPS to dish out the damage. In order to hit those big numbers, you're going to want to use skill power to supplement your damage. So firearms first, electronics second, and stamina just take what you can get. The low stamina is precisely what makes you a glass cannon and also why I said this is best run in a team. Now let's talk about skills. This is pretty simple really. Your first skill is going to be Pulse with the Tactical Scanner mod. This increases your critical hit chance, critical hit damage and base damage against hostile targets that are identified by the Pulse. And the more skill power you have, the greater the chance and damage boost too. So you can see why it's worth sacrificing some firearms to boost that electronics attribute a little bit. Second to that, you're going to be taking Smart Cover with the Trapper mod. And while this might seem like an odd choice going by the description, given that it says it's designed to be used on enemy cover, in practice, this also gives you the highest damage boost over the other mods when applied to your own cover. So you're grabbing this to further boost your damage. Interesting bonus fact, this also stacks with your teammates if they have it too. So if you throw down four smart covers onto a single wall with the trapper mod, that is four times damage boost. And when running that with my team, that's how 269, who is usually our marksman, has hit those million damage headshots. And finally, the signature skill is quite obviously going to be Tactical Link. This increases damage and critical hit chance for both yourself and your nearby teammates. So if you get into a situation where you're fighting a boss, then you stack all your skills and you'll be dishing out some pretty serious damage. But it doesn't end there. Now let's talk about talents. First up, let's start with One is None. This has a 50% chance of not consuming a bullet when you headshot a target. And given that you'll be doing that a lot as a marksman, this is super handy as it'll often result in a few extra bullets before you have to reload. And that's especially useful if you're using, say, a bolt action sniper that typically has a smaller magazine too. Second to that, you're going to grab tech support, where if you kill a hostile while any skill is deployed, you extend the active skill's duration by 10%. And when you consider that you're going to be spending a lot of time behind cover, with smart cover and pulse active hitting headshots, this is a good way to lengthen the duration of smart cover before you need to refresh it. Moving on from there, you have stopping power, where if you suppress a hostile, you can increase headshot damage by 25% for 10 seconds. And given that when enemies are suppressed, you can often still shoot them if you can just about catch the top of the head, and that extra 25 damage bonus is pretty handy. And finally, this one is an interesting one, and you will need to be really careful when using this given that you have low health, but tactical advance. If you complete a cover to cover move, you increase weapon damage by 2% per meter covered for 10 seconds. So in other words, the longer the move, the bigger the damage bonus. So let's say for example you've cleared the first wave of enemies, you want to move up and get a better vantage point on the boss. If you move up using a cover to cover action, you'll then gain a quick damage boost. However, it doesn't end there. There's some nice synergy with your skills too. See, smart cover can be fired. So assuming you have the opening, what you would do is you would pulse the target, you would then fire your smart cover at the cover you're about to advance to, you would then perform the cover to cover move, and then pop your tactical link, and then for the next 10 seconds while behind cover, you're going to be dealing as much damage as you can possibly do on your own. Throw in some team support as well, and let's just say I'd hate to be on the receiving end. Now, those are the skills and the talents, but what about weapons? Well, it's safe to say that your primary weapon is going to be a marksman rifle. I'd recommend one of the bolt action ones, something like the Custom M44 or the Covert SRS, simply because they have a much higher base damage, they hit like a truck, and as a marksman, you want every shot to count. 
The larger magazine sized marksman rifles like the Scar H or the M1A are still great weapons but I usually recommend them more for say medium range builds because they allow you to both engage from range and unload if you're getting rushed down. So for a marksman definitely M44 or SRS and as for your secondary well I'd recommend something like an assault rifle preferably a burst rifle so that that way you can use it at range if you run out of ammo. Something like the military SA58 is a really good choice. And that's pretty much it. That is my recommended marksman build. Hopefully you guys liked it and found it helpful and if you did then a like would be super appreciated. Let me know down below what you think or whether you have your own version and thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.